It looks like things are not going too well for the CW. Woke CW Network hit with executive layoffs as parent company Nexstar cleans house. Now, is anyone really surprised by this? I'm not. Uh, I mean, this is what happens when you focus on, you know, identity politics, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and wokeness in general, all right? Nobody wants that. Stop doing it. It, it, it never works out, all right? This is um, a big reason why people are leaving the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, because they're too focused on that bullshit. Uh, they're more fo focused on that than uh, the actual writing and characters, all right? People are sick of it. The woke CW network, which has injected anti-Trump and radical transgender ideology into its programming aimed at teens, has been hit with layoffs at the very top as its new parent company, Nexstar, moves to clean house at the struggling network. On Tuesday, Nexstar laid off between 30 to 40 staffers at the CW, marking the first staffing overhaul in what is expected to be an extensive corporate makeover, Variety reported. Multiple executives were among those cut, including those in public relations, distribution, strategy, and affiliate relations. Good. Good. Uh, get rid of them. Clean house. Um, and bring in some fresh new blood. People who aren't activists, who don't have an agenda to push. Bring those people in and actually focus on making good stories. How hard is that? Alright, these things never work out. Nexstar's overhaul of the CW began with the ousting of longtime CW president Mark Pedowitz after Paramount Global and uh, Warner Bros. Discovery closed its sale of the network to Nexstar last month. As Breitbart News reported, CW executives admitted earlier this year that the network isn't making money. It's no secret that the CW is not profitable, CFO Leanne Galeha recently said, the network remains one of the least watched on TV. Damn. Uh, I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. Okay, the CW used to be big. I mean, it used to be the uh, WB, I believe. And then it became the CW. But it used to be huge back in the day. But uh, with teen-centric shows including Riverdale, Charmed, and All-American, as well as shows based on DC comic book characters including Arrow, Supergirl, and The Flash. And that was what I used to watch. I used to watch the Arrowverse, um, specifically for Arrow and The Flash, being my two favorite of the uh, shows on there. Now, before you guys jump on me, I know those shows had plenty of problems, big problems, okay? I still enjoyed them for what they were. There was a lot of good stuff in them, but there was a lot of bad, a lot of cringe, a lot of corny stuff, but um, I enjoyed them for what they were, and... Uh, those shows made me a big fan of the characters of the Green Arrow and the Flash. So I appreciate them. Um, now Supergirl is done. Arrow's been done. Uh, the Flash is ending uh, with its uh, yeah next season, the ninth season. Uh, so it's coming to an end. So I, that's pretty much all the CW had. So it's this, man, that sucks. In recent years, CW executives have embraced left-wing politics and wokeism. Supergirl featured a transgender character in 2018 and made veiled references to the Trump administration during its third season. Now, I I did watch the third season of Supergirl. It's been a long time since I've seen it, uh, so I don't remember any of the, you know, Trump references, but I bet there was a ton of them. I'm not doubting that at all. I'm sure they threw in, uh, sprinkled in a bunch of Trump references because the... They can't, these people can't go a day without thinking about the orange man. It's, it's very strange. So, um, yeah, that's not surprising to me at all. Director Robert Rodriguez is developing a Zorro series for the network with a Latinx female lead. And there you go. Uh, using terms like Latinx uh, is why you fail. Okay, nobody likes Latinx. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't make sense. Latino people don't like it either. Okay, only... Like, white uh, progressives use the term Latinx because they think it's more inclusive or some bullshit. All right? Don't use it. It's fucking stupid. This whole thing is stupid. Wokeness is stupid. Okay? Um, it, it doesn't work out. It all Things always crash and burn when you inject your woke bullshit into it, your identity politics, all that. Can we just go back to making good stories and characters again? That would be nice, but... 
I don't see this going away anytime soon. Uh, I think we still got plenty of years of more, you know, woke BS injected into all entertainment. But, um, hey, it's as they say, get woke, go broke. You did this to yourselves. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you later.